it's always a thing of joy when we hear of Nigerians doing excellently well on the global scene. My guest for today is one of such distinguished individuals. She is the first black five-star director of Long Reach. Yes, I just said that. And her name is Mrs. Titi Lope Ijimagwa. Her story is truly inspiring. I cannot wait to hear it. This is the exclusive with Kemi Ajimobi. Sit back, enjoy, and relax. It's always morning in London, so it's good morning. <laughs> hmm. Humbled, grateful, excited, a lot of feelings. Oh, and compressed, actually. I can't say one, I can't use one adjective to describe my feeling. It's so all together. It, it actually makes me feel that, yes, we can. Yes, we all can. Yes, it is possible. Never ever underestimate yourself. You decide to go into multi-level marketing business. Very interesting question. You know, I came from the background of um, civil servants. My mother is a banker. My father is an engineer, and so they are already, everybody is, everybody are bankers in my family. My siblings, my sister, my cousins, they are all working in the bank. And I'm like, in short, I got a job too with the TIB, 1986. I was among the first staff there in Transnational Bank in Ibadan And I'm like, no, I don't want this kind of job. I don't want to work. When I left university, I went to Lasso. When I left university, too, I went to Women Bank then. I remember the, one of the EDs that I don't want to share his name. I, I got a job as well with, with my bank and I did not even resume the, the work. I didn't go to work for one month. They're like, you have resumed? I'm like, really? I didn't know. What I paid my salary. They're not serious. I, said, well, I can't work here. If I work here, is that I pay so much to the customers or, or I underpay them? So forget me. I'm just not caught out to work. This feeling of sexual abuse, women being abused you know you're not employed because of your of your ability but because of how good you are on bed that puts me off i'm like no no man born of a woman will open my clothes because of anything i had an extra year in the university because of the same feeling one of my professors one of my doctors came it was, it was the HHO did there when I was in school. He was like, you, do, you, do you want to graduate? Are you sure you want to graduate? If you want to graduate, make sure you meet me in our hotel. I'm like, sorry. Remember 1988 when I first went to Lasso for my admission? I went with a friend. I said, I'm not sure that I'm going to, I'm going to the admission and I'm meeting me in a hotel. And I'm like, sorry? How can you be asking me for sex? My very first day of entering the university. The same thing happened to me when I was about to leave the university as well. Through the university, through how the course. Because I'm very, I'm the type that, you know, tomboy, I'm the type of very sharp, smart, you know, always I miss boys. Anybody think that because I'm a missed boys, I'm sports and rats? No, no. I'm a virgin, you know? And for that reason, how long do my half time me? I mean, ah, this one, she's not the stuff. Anybody wants to have it, it takes on the pie. And I'm like, no. So that story affected me a lot, you know, and I was to leave resty. I couldn't leave in the year I was supposed to finish because the man basically locked up his office and refused to submit a four unit course for me. Compulsory course, four unit. He told me, if you want to get, if you want to really leave this university, you need to come and meet me in a hotel in Zaniki. Uh, and I'm like, sorry, I should come to meet you in a hotel in Zaniki. I will not come. It's okay. Go and go. Just eh? I don't get what will happen. But I met Fibo. I met Fibo. When I went to the American Embassy for the first time, and they're telling me that, how am I sure you're going to come at it? <laughs> I keep on standing, and they're like, sorry, sorry. 
What do you mean? We'll give you a visa. And if you come back, we'll give you a green card. So, that's it. You know, people that are dumb and dead are next to, some of are next to dumb and dead. So they get angry easily and that kind of thing. <laughs> I just have, you have to tell me, okay, don't bother. If you should go to the US and come back, I promise I'm going to give you a green card. I said, I don't want to be Nigerian. So tomorrow morning, I'm going to the US and person, he won't ask me, how do you take off your green card? I said, I don't need it, I'm a Nigerian. I love my green passport, I don't need green card. So, so that's my bank card. The, the yeah, it was through my full time, full time housewife at home. You know, my full time no, no, no. I've not gotten married yet. When I had a, I had a friend who is American, uh, is a, a baby. She married um, a Nigerian. She was a teacher in an American first school in Victoria Island. Yeah. And then she told me about Noni. And I'm like, Noni, okay, I can sell. I still have been working. Let me do something. So I started selling Noni. That was 1997, I think. And that was my first in internet marketing. So she now introduced me to the one that brought money to Africa, to Nigeria. I have to do. So I was directly under that, under her team. But later she went into politics. I think I think other went into politics and then she stopped bringing the product. I went to go and bring it myself. They said they are not going to give me the franchise because they've already given somebody in Nigeria. So I need to go and get from no from Ghana. Bringing money from Ghana became expensive. I'm like, no, 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 I can't sell this. It's becoming too because me I saw with conscience. I'm like, no, I can't, I know how much is the cost of money. And I know how much I'm supposed to be selling it because I'm going to bring from Ghana. No, I will not sell money. So I stopped money. Then I went to FLP from the Private Living Project. I went into Tianxi. I look at it because I'm an SM, still a manager in FLP actually. It was a film buying and buying and buying. It became tiring, so I went into Tianxi. Then from there, I joined, I became a member in Africa in military health. Um, military health crashed. It didn't crash really. Um, I don't want to tell you, tell you the secret, what really happened. I left them. I joined JEHAR. I'm number one in the world in JEHAR. Then I joined Dyna Farm. Then I joined Dyna Farm. The owner of Dyna Farm, she said, Hi, from Malaysia, I have to call me that. Come, come here. Who is this girl that just joined the business? At all from Uganda, who is the one that bought the franchise there? I need to meet with you. And he came to Nigeria the week, that same week. Well, I mean, with that, who oh, are you? What did you do? What did you do? Like, I didn't do anything to I only told my friends. You know that I'm a samurai. So if I must talk, it must make money. The talk must have value. Any talk I talk must be value based. Because I don't have so much energy to talk. I spend a lot of energy in talking as a samurai. You put in a lot of energy to talk. It's not as easy as it is for you. You know? And for me, for me, it's much more into talking. And so, I only have, I only work with people that are in my business. I'm in my business, I'm my friend. So you're buying my product, are you, you're buying my product for me, or you're my partner in the business, or you refer me to your people that know that want to do the business, or I delete and block your number from my system, from my phone immediately. Because <laughs> there's no value added from me to you. So bye bye. See you on PD. <laughs> that was how that, uh, I just started. And sort of how I started growing, you know, because I'm a determined person, I'm a very focused person. Not that I was hungry. <laughs> I, because after I got married, Adamu was becoming the governor of Bruno State. He said we should move to me within two to be to my degree. And I'm like, no, I can't work. I am not going to leave my degree to come to office. I'm going to stay back in Lagos and work. And I hope I don't get to see this today. <laughs> I refuse to go with him to my degree then. He said, come, let's go to the degree. You've been in government office, you do this. No, let me do something. So, because I did a very good offer, I got to more time to succeed. You know, when Mangich first came to, uh, to Nigeria, to Africa, he wasn't welcome at all. Because it's a, it's a, it's a very expensive product. People are not used to buying expensive things, especially when it's not a typical need. You know, we are used to fencing for headache. 
We're not used to preventing healthcare in this part of the world. And who betide supplements? Who wants to buy supplements when they have vegetables and oranges at all? I will tell you, why will I buy supplements when I can take my vegetables and my oranges and my purple? I am good. Then toothpaste. When there's this or two one error in the market, hundred and error, you know, so it's not very easy to to break into the market. But what's what, what, what we have? We know we have a very very beautiful product, a noble product, a product that is incompared with any product, and a product that takes care of needs. In short, my going to language is because of I married for about 10 years without a child. My father also had prostate issue. He has a kidney incontinence. And so he doesn't know when he wants to rejuvenate. He's on diabetes. When language came in 2010 at first, 2010, 2009, late 2009, you know, they came, they came looking for me really and they gave me the sanitary pad. As a gift, I told them I don't have interest. Just give it up, just take it as a gift. And I'm like, okay, you can try it. Sunny trip pad. I used I use a liner. I used the pad. And I got pregnant. I'm like, what? Can this be can it actually be real? After taking so much oestrogen, so much pedesterone. So much, you know, HSG, so much. We used to have a child, IVF, and all the rest. And now, I just fly in there, I'm standing the part. And the second touch mode, and that's my, my mess again, I'm pregnant. My, I, I never associate language to my pregnancy in the beginning. I never did. It never occurred to me. Then my daddy, my mother was to go to UK, sent my daddy up from Ibadan to bring him to Lagos and leave me. I was leaving my good then. You know that we didn't lock lock up. <laughs> we are locked up there for more than three hours and I'm like, huh? I think pack my daughter then. Pack. Daddy, are you okay? The that part is wet. I'm not using that for money. What? I'm not using that for why? Gee, I have a pack the cap and kind of thing. I'm soaked in that kind of thing. Said, no, I'm not. Should we give me something that I'm using? That thing, pan line, I want to call you. I just use it on mine. And then, I'm not, and now I know when I want to use it. I was like, I have to go and look for language. And hey, I have to call them. Where are you? Are you in Nigeria? Yes, you're in Nigeria. Okay, where's the office? Do you have an office? Ah. I have an office. Come, 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 come. I have an office. That was uh, 2012. I gave them my office. I gave them. I, they don't make car. Uh, make a car. Of course, man. I gave them a car and a driver. And that was it. That was how. Uh, so I you know they came looking for me for like three years, two years plus. I think I answered them. But now I have to go and look at them. If this could help my father and can help me, then it will help the whole world. And now, sat down, and I watched the video, I saw how liner, and now I have to do demo on liner. I see that we've been using rubbish. We've been sold so much lies. Oh no, this is not fair. I became very angry. I didn't see any money in language because there was no money. I didn't see the money. But I just saw opportunity to help people that were barren like me, you know? I saw, and I saw what WHO said, that the service of ladies that are working on the streets will not have a child because of low quality sanitary napkin. That's the reason why a lot of people will tell their girlfriend, get pregnant first before you get married. One month, then you're going to get married because of barrenness in the system. Guess what? It's not this girl's problem. It's not their fault. It is the sanitary part they have been used to using. No 
quality ones. All of them in the market are low quality ones. I can tell you for free. I can tell you for free. We're using our money to buy what is killing us. We are selling to our children. We are giving our children what will destroy their future. We are giving our sisters what will destroy their future. We are, ah, uh, this is not fair. So for me, it's like a campaign. I need to go and tell the whole world that the deception in the business world, what all these companies have been doing to us, killing us gradually. Imagine what I went through. I'm from, I'm from Lagos and Yoruba, and I marry Igbo. I don't hear beer. When they say beer, beer, pick with the sound in the way, beer, oh, beer, 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 beer. I don't know the name of beer. My mother in law was staying with me in the same house. And the mother had a child. More than ten. Imagine how many women are going through the same problem. A lot of abuse, a lot of you know, frustration, depression that you have gone through because you don't have a child. Just because it's low quality sanitary napkin. No, it is not fair. My husband loves children. My husband was much more concerned about having children more than me. I can tell you for free. My husband is sort of like I will be crying at night. God, this answer was, you know, I love children. My husband is sort of like I will be crying, praying and crying, and my husband will be snoring. My husband will be crying. I am going through pain. But I'm not that kind of person that is extremely emotional. He is very, very emotional person. So he'll be crying and I'm like, what's what I stand for? And now I'm joining, sometimes I'll join him and I'm oh, please let me sleep. Then the call that something else I will do, but I'm not going to this month, I'll get pregnant. So when he got to know that I'm pregnant, ah, hey, I became the queen of, of, of England. <laughs> You. It was anger. I was very hungry. I had to go and tell the whole world. I had to go and save Nigerians. I had to go and save Africans. I had to go and save the world. I told myself to to Jesus. <laughs> I just got angry. It, for me, not my, what actually motivated me was anger. You know? I was angry with a system that allows people to eat on people's future, eat on people's life, grow fast on the, on, on, on the populace. I went through hell, not having a child. But you know, because I'm the type that I'm the happy, happy type, happy go get type, people don't even know that I don't have, I don't have a child. People do not even know that I don't have a child. I'm always like, people think that my children are in the There's no upline to tell me that money, that I'm, I'm making money, you know, so I don't know, you know. So I don't even ask for bonus. I'm a tomboy. When I'm angry, I'm angry. I keep on going angry. Then at last, they call me. My damn job. People say, I can't number. I say, I can't number. What I can't number? You have bonus. I say, I have bonus. How come I have bonus? When? I didn't do anything there. I only bought, I only bought what I needed, and then just keep on telling people, doing demo, I was doing demo everywhere, and give people. I was giving out to sanity fans and doing demo, doing demo, you know. So I didn't know that, you know, where I came from. With my grannies, you have to buy and buy and buy every month for you to earn. If you don't buy, you will not earn. I was mature in the world in green world at that level. The only name you get. <laughs> if you don't buy so much in the other lecture, you're not going to earn anything. That kind of a thing. So, I didn't buy so much. I've only bought one. There's no repeated purchase for me. They're telling me I have money. How come I have money? I said, How much is the money, sir? So, I don't know how one person was. Eh? One point is getting. Are you, are you, are you joking or something? So maybe I have one point something. So how can I have one point something now? How about that even find a language in the beginning? Now we are you doing kalu kalu? I don't understand. Do not. And I'm in life. My son is real. My account. I'm opening to them. Come and see this is what I am. One lady. Her name is Happy. She's the, she's not a teacher director in language. She told me my house that you. 
I'm before one night. You are doing this is not this is lie. You are, you are before one night. In my house, you are abusing me in my house. I'm doing for one night. I cannot start a hen with you three million or four million at a time in a week. I will be doing for one night. Imagine. But today, I'm sure she's also doing for one night today. Because she's also earning, she's earning over 10 million every week now. So she's doing it for one night as well. She must be doing for one night. <laughs> You empower a woman, you empower the whole nation. Not just the community, you know. The whole nation. Who actually has time for our children more? It's the woman. Who actually has time for home? Who built a home? Who holds the home? So you are, so the church ensures is the most important thing. Women need to be empowered. It is time for women to wake up. And I'm realizing that they are not a, the real. When you say you are a weaker vessel, it doesn't mean that you are a weak person. It means that you should be, you should be taking care of, you know, you should, be take, you, should, you should take back care of you. Not that you are a subservient, not that you are a slave. The same. That they taught her to show letter. The same that they give extra year when I'm not sitting with the lecturer. The same way today. And I have no work for anybody. And any for man. It's the same way that I'm telling you that you can do anything you want to do if you are determined. That you need to stand up. Women are total, women are set with gossip. Yes, you are gossip. Gossip about what will add value to your life. Okay, yes, you are good at your gossip. I'm gossiping my language now. Come on, tell me and let us gossip, gossip together. Yes. Tell me that negativity that they, they know you for. Turn me to positive energy. Think positive. Think helping others. See, when you help others, God will surely cut your back. That's what I saw in language. I never knew that language now. What is it say? Oil one is already giant. You don't need oil again very soon. I don't know what is language. Even if the whole country, Nigeria, is doing language. Sit down in your home and work all your work. You don't need to see the sun. I don't see sun. Okay, I see some sunrise when I go to do my early morning workouts. I see some sun when I have my dinner outside. You know, that's all I that's when, that's, when, that's when I see sun. Why not that? You don't see me in the traffic. So I, I, I ease off the traffic pressure <laughs> because I'm not on the road. I sit down in my house. I'm not answerable to anybody. No, not saying yes sir to anybody. You're saying yes sir to yourself. You have time freedom. You have time to take care of your family. Of your own. I cook my food. And I love cooking. In short, today I'm going to cook a fire cook. <laughs> that is the beautiful part of language. You can only buy language from language. You can't buy language outside. You buy it from language. Language is, is not... You can't buy language outside. Buy language from language. And language because of the the way we work from, you know, we appreciate the company and the kind of patronage we have in Nigeria and in Africa and in short in all over the world. More than one like it's it's a country today. It's a land today. I use a language products. Anybody think that MLM monthly marketing company is for the low class people. That's the very first thing that people think. They think, ah, I can't do what I'm getting. I can't talk to people. I can't sell this. I can't sell that. You know, living in the fool's island. That's the first challenge that people face when they hear in the nature marketing. Oh, it's for the people that are poor. Two, I can't sell. Three, they expect to make millions tomorrow morning. No, we are not doing get quick rich. We are building team. When you have five people in your team, the kind of money you're going to earn, it's not the same thing like when you have 
Probably be the same thing. It's the same thing. It can't be. So we say, you start small. We don't give you carrot soup and give you cane later. No, we first give you the cane. Go and work. It's called network. You've got to work to build your team, to build your net, and the net will give you the income. It's not net play. It's not net rich. Net and get rich immediately. No, 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 no. It is network. You have to work first to build it. Now, what is the work? Talk! Just, I mean, we all talk. We talk about everything. We talk about coronavirus. We talk about the most global for Nigeria is playing with since Toronto. Toronto is playing with Canada. We talk about everything in this world. We want to talk about things that will have value to you. Be focused. Be determined. You don't care to. You, you don't mind to go and work for the government for five years of your life. You don't mind to run to see you for ten years. Before you can get, get, get a job with the bank and um, they pay you five thousand naira in a month, but you want to do not long 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 week today and then afternoon and tomorrow morning. How does that work? It doesn't work that way. What for business built in a day? That's where the time is. The focus, you know, putting effort and job. And then when you work, what works, you get the benefit of, of your work. The, what that can be assured of is that the non great you are not short change. You actually aim more than what you put in. All that I put in the beginning in non great Have I not aimed that time, small moment over? Oh, I have.